Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the new integrated amplifier from Denon, PMA3000NE. It's made in Japan, we have it here for review. The first thing that we notice is this uh, amplifier has not applied ecological approach to the packaging. Companies, a lot of companies have stopped using these ones because they are not good for the environment, they are using paper instead of this white foam here. So quick start guide, the remote control, which is this one, it's metallic as I can feel it. It's heavy, it's not a plastic one. So it has metallic buttons, volume big one, up volume bigger than the other volume. And all, all this, you know, direct laser. This is for the CD player and this is for the amp here, analog mode. So this is the remote control, accepts two batteries on the back. It's very well made, guys. This is the thickness. So inside, the beast is waiting for us, the PMA3000NE, that matches with the turntable that I have done another review for this, the 3000 turntable from them. So after some effort, I removed it from the box. Very good wrapping from the Japanese factory of uh, Denon. It comes with a regular uh, power cable without earth. White tapes. Wow. Wow, this is it guys. This is the PMA, brand new PMA 3000 NE. So in front, we can see the knobs, big volume control, huge one, balance, tremble, bass, analog mode, source direct, phono stage, MM or MC. There is an OLED here display with very sharp characters, input selector on this side. Let's have a panoramic, let's say, wide view from all the aspects, all the corners and sides of the amplifier. This is the back side. As we can see here, made in Japan here, guys, it's made in Japan. Four terminals uh, for speakers per side, so we can have A or B pairs. The digital section of the amplifier, we have USB DAC here, coaxial, three optical, one with TV, says here, has no HDMI, okay, I wish. Three optical uh, inputs, one coaxial, one USB DAC to connect an external streamer or a laptop. This terminal here is for the turntable, the earth, the grounding, signal grounding, pre-out, CD, network, uh, recorder, recorder here, uh, audio out, and phono inputs. Phono inputs here, we see it comes with these uh, cups to reduce the noise if we don't need uh, this, uh, some of these outputs. So we have two pairs of these black cups. The amp has the digital section in different uh, compartment and the analog inputs and outputs in different side. So very far for noise differences between them. Front face thick aluminum everywhere. Look the knob here. Variable gain volume control. Here we have a phono output, which is an independent section inside the amplifier. As we said, the cable has no earth. And now we will switch on the amplifier for the first time. The key thing here is the display. So we, we can see here some indications, it's an OLED one display, CD, net auxiliary, analog input, recorder, external uh, preamp, coaxial input, optical one, optical two, optical three, USB DAC, phono MM if we press the other button, says phono MC. We have no menus. So we have no indication about the, the volume. Look the beauty here. So th this is on the side. Look how nice it looks. Dynon here has a high-end amplifier with a nice remote control. Here we see some uh, parts of the inside of the amp. 
two transformers here, AI transformer, not a rodeo, but huge one, one per channel, I think. Heat sinks here for the transistors. This, uh, you, we see this uh, copper here for better conductivity with the heat sink. We see the two capacitors and we see how they are implemented with a lot of copper material around, even the, even the screws are copper. Then is using a lot of copper in this amp. We, we see the, the terminals of the channels here. You see copper, copper here on the, this one. Everywhere is copper here. Even these connectors here are with copper. You see the capacitors, two of them. Probably they, ha they are having four uh, pin seats. So the brand of the capacitor is the Suscon. This, this one, I think it's from China. And uh, Denon is using it a lot lately, lately because the Nitsikon and all these companies, they have stopped uh, producing audio capacitors. So Denon... Uh, Find another source, copper here, the transformers, they have copper ribbon around, everywhere copper guys, even down there two copper screws. One channel per side, stereo amp, you see how the face is curved in front, extremely good components, audiophile components is using, few cables you can see around. Push-pull circuit, that's the topology of the amplifier. It's a new design. Differential one stage plus common emitter uh, circuit improves operation with any speakers by this way. So it, this is a single push-pull. Even the headphone amplifier is uh, totally separated from the rest of the amplifier. And instead of wires here, the amp is using copper uh, thick uh, material so underneath we see the amp there are four feet like this these which are aluminum alloy heat treated from aluminum alloy in order to provide stability and to reduce a lot of the vibrations so here we can see the transistors from one channel they have uh, they have this this green material is a special um, a gel, let's say, a special material for uh, better conductivity with the heat sink. But before they have this copper plate. So this is a MOSFET from Toshiba. So very nice installation. Very high engineering, guys. This is Japanese. What do you expect? The digital unit in exactly in the center, underneath in the center of the amplifier. This is the digital, the DAC. And the king here is the Ultra AL32, this one, which is based on this uh, processor, try on the side. It upscales the signal, the digital signal, to a higher level, produce a better sound. XMOS, the famous processor that uh, is for the USB DAC input, uh, for the USB B. And then we have a lot of chipsets, guys, a lot of chipset ones. The famous Ultra AL32 processor from Denon that uh, upscales and upgrades the signal, the digital signal. Then we have the Sabre ones, as you can see, they are ESS chips 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, I can see, 2 per channel. There are these small ones here, ESS that they say on it. It's the ES9018K2M. So there are four of these, two per channel, with uh, audio file capacitors. And then we have uh, the here, uh, after the conversion here, is probably the analog section that... Uh, Okay, prepares the signal in order to go to the preamplifier. Look the digital board of this beast, of this amplifier, guys. It's a product in a product, is a unit in a unit. Other companies, they sell all this uh, board as a special unit, as a special product, let's say, as a DAC, as a converter. But here, Denon provides this one built, built in, let's say. So we have quad the DAC configuration. We have Ultra AL32 
processing, optim optimized discrete output states, discrete output states, optimized one. And the analog stage of the DAC, it's not uh, with operational amplifiers, it's discrete, you see? Gives on the output 768 kHz oversampling. Last but not least, this uh, nice uh, DAC has an extremely good master clock. There are three different oscillators, very accurate master clock. Here we have the transistors, 80 watts per uh, channel at 8 ohm. Guys, have a look underneath the amp. This pattern, I don't know. Look, everything is very well tuned here. Even the button, the underneath the cover. Look the finish of the other side of the amp. Nobody looks at these uh, details, but look the finish. And the way that is manufactured in these waves. With a cover that provides extra isolation. Here we can see some measurements. Manufacturer says 80 watts. So verified that manufacturer says the truth. It's 80 watts at 8 ohms. THD is almost 0.6%. So we're taking some measurements from the headphone output. For 30 ohms, we receive 133 milliwatts from the headphone output. And here is the measurement for 150 ohms. We receive almost 3 watts. That's all, folks. Thank you for watching.